Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, trying it a little bit more vlog style, so I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out, but figured I'd kind of take you along with me, give a little, little state of the shop, and uh, getting a little bit better lighting here. Get, give a little bit of a state of the shop, kind of show you around a little bit. This is not by any means a full shop tour that is coming, um, but I just kind of want to show you guys around a little bit, give you a, a tour-ish of what we have set up right now, uh, go over some of the coming plans for Created Workshop, some of the projects that we're currently working on, and uh, some of the content that you can expect here. Okay, so this is kind of where we're sitting at right now. I know there's a lot of stuff everywhere. You can see the tripod, but uh, we are getting some work done. Over here, you can see some of the wood that uh, I've milled up to make some more of our task card trays. Those are those are, are the best seller that we have right now. Uh, we've got a cutting board in process over here. It's almost done. Just need to kind of cut out the final shape and get it finished sanded. Uh, these are some of our CNC cutouts that we have, and there is still plenty of good wood over there on that side that we can rip off and, you know, just kind of make some different things with. And then continuing around, we've got the old CNC waste board. And then uh, over here, this is where the magic happens. The majority of the work here at Creative Workshop happens on our uh, Shapoko 3 XXL. This has been a workhorse of a CNC. This was actually a gift to us very early on in the business. And uh, we thank you very much. Um, that was a gift from my parents. They wanted to invest in the business and help us out. And truthfully, this has helped us immensely. Um, I can't even put into words how much this has helped. Over here, you've seen the Monport that we have had on videos several times already. Uh, we are working with Monport on this K40 to get videos out about it. So you'll see several more videos. The next one will be getting your initial connection to Lightburn and running your first project, which I think is gonna be with some leather. Uh, here we've got the, um, just kind of the vent going out, uh, goes out my roof, um, goes out the side of the house actually and uh, that gets all that done and we really liked that. Uh, it meant that we didn't have to drill a hole into like the garage door or anything. And uh, then this is my diode laser. It's an Atzer P10 and it works great for if, it, if I need to do something larger uh, than what the K40 can handle, then that is where this comes in. And so that's kind of where the state of the shop is right now. Um, you know, I'm still working on getting a lot of things reorganized. We've got new bandsaw blades to put on the bandsaw and, uh, are just, we're just kind of, you know, trying to get things up and going. Um, after the accident, about two months ago, my wife and I were in a car accident and let me change hands here. And so that kind of threw a lot of the stuff here in the shop off. Uh, we have now finished our doctor's appointments, um, and we should be good to go. Uh, we are feeling much better after the accident, but you know, still have to kind of work through some stuff. Um, but the main doctor's appointments are over, so that'll give me more shop time out here, uh, more time to do things like um, the podcast and things of that nature. And so we have a lot of big plans for 2023. Uh, we're gonna be ramping up production of a lot of different items. My personal goal, and I'm saying that on here, so that way I can try to get your help with staying accountable, is to hit one product launch per week. Now I know a product launch a week is pretty lofty, but with both the CNC and two lasers, as well as two 3D printers um, in our shop, I, I have a feeling that if I really set my mind to it, it's something that we can hit, and I am excited to work on that. I've got some ideas for what I would like to launch this week, so I'm gonna be working on that uh, later this week. In fact, the night, um, the night that I'm recording this Tuesday night, I'm about to record the, uh, the fifth episode of Faith Talks Wood, which is a podcast that I do with a local friend here where we talk both faith and woodworking. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. We're on all the major podcasting platforms, so be sure to give that a listen if it's something that you'd be into. We would really appreciate it. And uh, But so I'm going to be working on that tonight and also fulfilling some Etsy orders. I've got some finished trays inside that really just need to get buffed and uh, kind of put into boxes and ready to go. Uh, but later this week, we are going to be working on getting some more Etsy listings up. Um, right here, you actually see a massive stack of trays. Those trays are what I'm going to be calling factory seconds trays. 
for whatever reason, there's something wrong with them, came off the CNC with a little bit too much chatter in it or whatever. So those will be going up at a discount on Etsy. So that way we can still sell those um, and people can get them if they don't mind dealing with a little bit of an imperfection on the trays. But there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Uh, March has been a really busy month for us personally, but I'm really looking forward to April, um, just 10 days away or just under 10 days away. And that will give me the really the first full month of the year to be able to focus a lot on created workshop, both on the content creation side and the production side of things, as well as the product development side of things. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to kind of getting things in and getting them dialed in, uh, trying out new things like this. I don't know exactly if I'm gonna stay doing this. Um, I'm gonna need to figure out a different plan for holding the camera if I'm gonna do this because this does get a little heavy uh, with just kind of the, the whole rig that I've got here. Um, but it, it works well and uh, I love my Sony camera. Love using it, so this is a good option for now at least. And uh, I just, I'm, I'm really gonna be using 2023 as a year to try new things. Try new things on social media, try new things on here on YouTube, uh, try new things with production. Um, like I've found ways to speed up production on the CNC by swapping out some bits, putting in that uh, one and a half kilowatt spindle that you see there. Um, we've you know rigged up dust collection to be much better than it was. Dust collection is now piped through the shop and that's much better. And so this is just gonna be really the year of trying things out. And I am, I'm really looking forward to that. Honestly, at this point, I don't, I don't know how long this video is. Um, that's kind of the state of the shop right now with trying to kind of just figure things out. This is, you know, I've said it probably five times now, but it's a year of trial and error. It's a year of trying new things and it's a year of figuring things out figuring out how we want to shop. The shop is a completely different shop than it was at the end of 2022. Uh, my wife actually for my birthday organized one of my best friends, um, in fact, my best friend coming up and helping out with a complete shop reorganization. And that was really probably the best birthday gift I could have ever received. And so that's kind of jump started the year with a shop layout that is, is much more functional. It makes it better for recording. Uh, because I have more room to kind of put stuff around and I'm really excited to put it to use to kind of get everything nice and organized to get more lights up in the shop to kind of make everything to where it'll be a little bit uh, more fl it'll flow better um, be easier to do things in and yeah I'm I'm super stoked for what's to come for created workshop thank you for watching this far and uh, just you know kind of just trying out a different shot here I don't know exactly what I want to do for these shots, but I, uh, I like playing around and this feels like the best way to do that. Um, got a light right over here and need to maybe pick up a little bit more lighting for video work, but I, I like this shot. I think I need to get something up over in this area. Maybe, uh, maybe a created workshop sign to go on the wall with our new logo. That's uh, that's just really the mountains. Um, I don't know, but that's something that we can work on here later. But thank you for watching this far. Uh, if you've watched all this way, I really do appreciate it. And uh, I would really appreciate if you could leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, if you would just click that subscribe button, maybe even that bell icon, that way you can be notified for future uploads. Hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions about the things that I do here in the shop, or if you have any questions even about God, send me a message. Um, at in, on Instagram at created workshop. You can email me Patrick at created workshop.com. My email is open. You can also leave a comment down in the comments below. I would love to answer your questions about woodworking. Maybe you've got a question about the CNC that I have right back here or a laser. I've used multiple diodes and CO twos at this point, and I can help with that as well. And you know, that's really what I'm here for. I would love to be a help to you in any way that I can, whether it's on faith or woodworking, which is why we have that podcast as well. Thank you again for sticking around. At some point in time, I'll get better at these intros and these outros and all of the, the different aspects of this. But for now, I just appreciate you coming on this journey with me as I learn uh, YouTube, as I learn, you know, relearn content creation from this side of things. And I do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one.